The Southern Maine Conservation Collaborative is a new organization designed to increase effectiveness of its member organizations in Cumberland and York counties. They recently held an event to illustrate the impact a working farm has on the environment, and Roger Burley was there. This is Roger Burley at the Broad Turn Farm in Scarborough. This is an event sponsored by the Southern Maine Conservation Collaborative, a new organization in its, in its pilot year of 2012, uh, drawing together now nine land conservation organizations in Cumberland and York counties. We are witnessing and experiencing what a working farm does uh, within the context of land preservation and land trust uh, work. I'm now standing with uh, Jeremy Winterstein uh, of the Scarborough Land Trust, and Jeremy is uh, vice chair of the Southern Maine Conservation Collaborative, and so you're involved with this work in at least two levels, but I suspect a whole lot more. So please tell us about this preservation project, Jeremy. Um, we're at Broad Turn Farm right now, and this is a 430-acre property owned by the Scarborough Land Trust. We bought it in 2004 with help from a lot of people and um, public agencies. The town of Scarborough, through their land bond, contributed to it. The Land for Maine's Future bo Board contributed to it. Um, the uh, Maine, uh, Maine Department of Agriculture and the U.S. Department of Agriculture and a lot of private donors contributed to, to this project. So we purchased it in 2004, and it's the land trust's biggest property. We own about a, we've conserved about a thousand acres to date in Scarborough. We were founded in 1977, and it's just been a great, great project of the land trust to figure out how does a land trust own and manage a farm, because our core competency is in protecting land and looking after trails and managing forests and things like that. We now have John Bliss and Stacy Brenner, who were formerly at Turkey Hill Farm in. Cape Elizabeth, and before that they were in Cumberland. They, um, they've been on the farm for over five years. We've recently signed a 30-year lease with John and Stacy, um, which was a really big um, uh, milestone for both us and John and Stacy. It gave us a, um, it gave both of us a long-term vision for the property, or a long-term chance at the property. It gives John and Stacy, as farm managers, the opportunity to invest in the property, buy a tractor, invest in the irrigation, um, make the soils better, put money into the buildings, um, and so for them to have a long-term lease has really been helpful. And for us, we couldn't ask for better farmers. They are really good members of the community. They're one of the most more well-respected young farmers in the state, um, in the organic farming community, and they're just great ambassadors for both land conservation and farming. So now I'm standing with Paul Austin uh, uh, for the Southern Maine Conservation Collaborative, but um, Paul, you are the president of Scarborough Land Trust. So tell me about your int your personal interest in in making this a success. Obviously, it's a it's a land trust coup. Uh, but what are the challenges? What are the benefits? What what excites you most about this? Uh, when this when this property was first purchased, the the president of the land trust at the time called me one day and said, uh, "I think we could make this a real farm." And I said, in your dreams, I had no, no dream at all that she could possibly find farmers to work on this. And we had, we had one false start with some farmers, and now we've found, I think, the, almost the perfect farmers for, for this project. They're, they're very community-oriented, they're really great farmers, they're very smart businessmen, and they're really nice people. I think we're, I think we're fortunate that we're saving farm soil above anything. Uh, you know, once, once this was 200 houses, it would never be a farm again. There's not a prayer. We, I think we're really fortunate that it, it didn't happen on this property, but we've been involved with another small farm in Scarborough. I think we're really fortunate now to have Maine Farmland Trust because we're, we're concerned about, about open space, saving land from development, and, and they're concerned about farming. So the combination of the two of us is, a, is perfect. There's a conservation easement on the land now, or will yes. be, and in, in most ultimate terms, if the farm dries up and disappears and everyone leaves the farm buildings, ultimately nothing else can happen to this land right. beyond what the terms of the conservation easement right. are, so that the right. soil will always be here. You buy this and you protect it and you have it forever, and. We're never going to have less people around here. At least right. I'd be surprised if we do. And there'll always be more pressure. And 
you know, there needs to be a certain percentage of open space, and I don't know what that is, but I know that once it's gone, it's gone probably forever.